Welcome to Spin Technology. One of the top questions we are asked is, how are files in the cloud compromised in a ransomware attack? In today's example, we are focusing on our target, Andre. Let's send him our phishing email. Here, you see Andre's email account. Andre just received an email from a sender called Security Team with the subject, Important Notice. He reviews the email. No noticeable misspelling, nothing strange in the formatting, and the security team sends periodic updates regarding new applications via similar emails. Thus, Andre proceeds to click the link. It requests him to authenticate, and he agrees. He reviews the scope of permissions requested by the application. He notes it requires a permission to read and write to his email, but that's not entirely unusual for such applications, and he did receive instructions from whom he understands to be an authority. So he proceeds to accept. What has actually happened is Andre has given permissions to the hacker's ransomware application. Now let's switch back over to the hacker's dashboard. The hacker can now see all of Andre's email. He reviews the content of the email and has many options at this point, such as deleting all emails, perhaps stealing valuable information from the emails, but in this case, the hacker views this as a promising account to start a ransomware attack on. Now, let's switch back over to Andre's email account and watch what happens. It takes just a few seconds for the encryption process to begin. You can see real time that each email is now being encrypted one by one. In a few seconds, Andre receives another email from his security team. This time, the email looks a little different. This one reads, if you want your data back, you'll need to make a payment. For more information, or to learn how SPIN1 would have stopped this attack, please visit us at spin.ai.